and welcome to another edition of the Fuji Guys. My name is Billy. Today we're going to take a look at the Fujifilm X-A2 camera. This is Fuji's compact system camera that allows you to interchange different lenses. This kit comes with the XC 16 to 50 millimeter lens. It's version 2, so it does have some improved performance, including auto macro capabilities. You don't have to push the macro button anymore to do close-up shots. It's going to switch automatically. Uh, so let's just take a look at the contents that you get with the X-A2 camera. Let's unbox the new Fujifilm X-A2 camera. This is Fuji's compact system camera. This is, uh, comes with the XC 16-50mm f3.5 5.6 OIS version 2 lens, which has an improved macro autofocus system so that you don't have to uh, turn on the macro button in order to do close-up shots. So there's been adjustments to this new lens. Uh, as well, of course, the X-A2 offers some really new features like a, a selfie mode where you can flip the uh, LCD on the back of the camera up to about 175 degrees so you can obviously see yourself when taking photos with this camera. So uh, depending on the country that you purchase it from, uh, there's different color options. This one I'm, I'm unboxing here, though, this what the picture looks like is a silver and black. It's actually a, a white. So again, you can look at the sticker on the side to tell you what uh, color you are buying for this particular model. So let's just unbox this camera right away. Um, so first thing of course is your owner's manual and registration information. Uh, you want to obviously want to register your product so that you can get more information about the cameras when we have new firmware updates, perhaps promotion and contests is a good idea. The uh, quick start guide is also included but of course uh, there's also a full manual that you can have it available from our support site uh, from Fujifilm. Uh, looking inside the uh, box content uh, is the X-A2 in white. So I'm going to just remove the uh, security uh, bag here. And there you can have it. It's uh, an X-A2. It's actually very similar to the X-A1 in dimensions, but this is of course one of the new latest colors in this white finish with the silver. Uh, there's also, because this is a kit, you have the lens. And the lens again is a 16 to 50. So we're just gonna take that out of the, the package. So because it's an XC lens, uh, of course the feeling of this is not as premium as say an XF lens from the, uh, the compact system XF lens lineup that Fuji offers. Uh, this is of course 16 to 50 with a zoom control right here, a manual focus ring. Of course you got a lens cover that's in black. And of course, the back cover is also uh, a plastic piece instead of more of a standard screw-on piece like some of the X F lenses that are available. But of course, you know this whole kit is uh, relatively inexpensive compared to Fuji's uh, you know X series system with uh, X F lenses. So, of course, I'm going to put this lens aside for now, and I'm just going to leave the lens cap off. You, of course, it uses the MPW126 uh, rechargeable lithium battery. Uh, this battery is pretty decent and it's comparable with the majority of, of uh, CSC cameras from Fuji X series cameras that uses the interchangeable lenses. So if you already own one, it's most likely it's, it's the same battery. Uh, inside the box content, uh, just below it, we have a few extra things here. We have the um, charging cable and depending on the country that you purchase a camera from this piece will be slightly different of course this is the North American plug we have um, camera strap so the camera strap of course you know it's not leather but uh, it does have a decent feel to it it's it's free it's included of course if you prefer to to have a higher quality leather uh, strap then of course by all means you can obviously pick that up from a, a third party but that's going to be uh, right there. I'm going to leave it there for now. You got the uh, battery charger. So the charger itself, as you can see, uh, it's like any other battery charger, the BCW126. It has a connection on the, on the right here. And this is, of course, where you would attach this piece to. And, of course, that end plugs into the wall. So I'm just going to leave that there for now. And the last thing that's in the box is the lens hood for, or lens, the lens hoods for the XC lens. So to put that together, uh, you want to match the uh, little white spot here with the white dot there. And then it should just go right in and then twist to lock in place. 
Of course, uh, to attach the lens to the camera, you're going to remove the uh, body cap. And of course, the rear cap on the lens. And you're going to match the orange tab to the orange dot. And it should just match like that. And click in place. That's your release button. So you want to hold that down. And then you can actually eject the uh, lens that way. Okay. So there we go. The camera is really assembled. The next thing you need to do, of course, is to pick up uh, a, um, a memory card, whether it's an SD, SDHC, or X, SDXC card. Um, and of course, it supports all the way up to about 120 gigs uh, in terms of storage. And as SDXC cards become high in capacity, most likely it will work as well. So the first thing is, of course, the bottom. You want to put the batteries in. You want to match the uh, orange uh, square here to the orange tab, and the contacts will go into the uh, camera. You want to charge the batteries at least four hours before usage. It does come slightly charged uh, out of the box, but uh, you know you can obviously play with that if you got this as a Christmas gift. But uh, we do recommend you fully charge it, and after a few cycles, you get the full potential of the battery itself. Turning on the camera, you're going to turn it on with the on and off switch right here. And if it is your first time, it's going to ask you a few things like your language options. So you can use the, direct, the directional pad to select the language. You want to select English. And of course, you can set your date and time here. And if you accidentally push OK, it's OK. You can go back into the menu or the setup menu. And of course, you can adjust that. Now, again, as you can see here, it's on SR Auto. So it's changing itself to macro mode when it's doing close up shots. And of course, uh, as it switches, it automatically switches for you, has face detection. You know, it detects if subjects are moving. So this is your SR Plus Auto, but you also have the ability to shoot and control shutter speeds, aperture, and fully control both of them, as well as various scene modes, uh, including advanced filter features. So I'm just going to leave it at the SR Plus for now. Because there is no memory card in here, there's no storage, so you do have to pick one up. You can push halfway down the shutter button here to refocus and all the way down to take the, fi the picture. It's going to give you a preview like this because you don't have a memory card in it. You can use this to kind of zoom in to check how, how good that, uh, that focus was. And of course, once you tap again, you're ready back to shooting. You play back, you push the playback button because again, there is no internal memory. You need to have a memory card in order to actually see your images uh, that you captured. Um, you can record pushing the record button. You push that one time to start the recording and push it again to stop. And of course, there's uh, different access controls here. Of course, you can look at the, our top features video on the XA2 to learn more about this camera and how to operate it. But this is really just the starting point of the camera. You got the built-in flash. You got the uh, tilt LCD screen again, so you can shoot low angles and as well as high angles. And if you're doing your self selfie shoots, you can actually flip up the screen and pull it up. And so, of course, you can shoot yourself like that, as you can see right there. So that's kind of a nice little cool feature. And uh, it's really a quick unboxing of the Fujifilm X-A2. So there you have it. The X-A2 is complete with everything you need to take photos right out of the box. Of course, uh, you do need to pick up a memory card in order to actually capture those photos. So don't forget to pick it up uh, when you do buy the X-A2. Uh, for more information about this cam and to learn more about its features, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter at FujiGuys. Until then, I'm Billy of the FujiGuys.